Good morning or afternoon, everyone. My name is Jeremy Walsh, and I am the Director of Support, Training, and Documentation for BNI Connect. I'd like to welcome everybody to the webinar today. Today's webinar is called Building VCP with BNI Connect. And VCP, of course, stands for Visibility Plus Credibility Equals Profitability. And one of the great things about BNI Connect is that it really does make your BNI membership a lot more visible in many different ways. Um, your profile is available to the other 160,000 or so BNI members around the world. It's also available on all of the regional websites with your profile being displayed, as well as on the national websites. And one of the most important things that we can do in BNI Connect is to make sure that we have a full and complete profile. And that's what we're going to be discussing today. All of the different aspects of the user profile in BNI Connect, where to fill out the information, how to find it, where does it display, and what displays where. So before we get started, I do have a couple of housekeeping things to go over. Uh, first of all, this is a live webinar, so that means that if you have any questions as we're going through today's topic, please do feel free to ask those questions right away. The best way to do that is by typing the questions into the questions panel. I'll see them pop up on my screen and I'll be able to answer them as we're going through. We are also recording this webinar, so it will be made available later. Um, we post them in a couple of different places. The first place we post them is on the support site. You can get to the support site if you're logged into BNI Connect. Click on this question mark here, the one in the upper right hand corner. If you click on that question mark, that will take you to our support site. You'll see all of our webinars are listed there. And if you scroll down to chapter training and documentation, you'll see recorded webinars. You'll see them broken out by month. And for example, here in September, here was the webinar for last month on building VCP with BNI Connect. Uh, today's webinar will be up there shortly, probably within a couple of days. You can also find these webinars. They're all hosted on our YouTube channel. If you go to youtube.com forward slash BNI Connect Global, you'll see our, uh, well, a whole bunch of videos up here, actually. It's not just the webinars. We also have some things like three to five minute educational moments on specific topics. Um, we have some messages from Dr. Meisner and releases and all sorts of things up here on our YouTube channel. So please do um, peruse our YouTube channel and you can find a bunch of videos up there. All right, so let's talk about today's topic again, which is building VCP. So as I mentioned, your BNI Connect profile does appear in a number of different places. So the first place is on the public websites, and there's actually three different places, three unique places that your profile will show up. Now the first place is going to be on your regional website. So I happen to be a member here in the Rhode Island area. Um, so our regional website is bniri.com. If you're not sure what your regional website is, if you are a member, you'll see a button up here in the upper right hand corner. If you click that button, that will take you to your regional website. On the regional website, of course, we can do a search for members. And let's say I do a search for myself here. I can click open my profile. And here is a profile. This is one of the places that my profile appears online. So I have it here. It has my, my name, my phone number, my, um, my logo, all of my social media links. It has a bit of my bio called the TOPS profile and a description of my business, as well as a bunch of different ways to get in touch with me. Now, this also appears on your chapter website. So let's say I was to go find a chapter on the public website here, and the name of my chapter is the Wakefield chapter. I can see the list of members here, and then if I visit the chapter website, I can look at chapter members, pull up my profile, and again, the same profile, but it is a unique instance of my profile here a second time up on the regional site. Now, it's also available on the national site. Now, most countries do have a national website as well. Here in the United States, that is BNIAmerica.com. 
And all of the members in the United States will appear up here on the BNI America profile as well. So if I do a search here for find a member, I can do again a search for myself. I come up with the exact match here. And again, the same profile is listed up on the BNI America site. So that's three unique places. Now these are all sites that are indexed by Google, so it does help your search presence on the internet in general as well. Now it also shows up on the inside of BNI Connect. So if I click on BNI Connect from my regional website and I log into BNI Connect, this is the members only portal. So people can also search for you here in BNI Connect. They would click on the magnifying glass. And this is a members only portal. So only other members can see a more advanced profile. So if I do a search, I find myself again. Now this profile shows a little bit more information. So here I can see all the different roles that I have. It still has my business, my industry, my company name, my logo, things like that. Um, I do have the ability to, if I want to, directly share my email address here, whereas on the public website it's not publicly shared. We do have the opportunity to share your bio tab, which will share your 60 second presentations, your gains profile, and your tops profile. People can also see all of the people that I'm connected with. And similar to LinkedIn, you can click through and view that person's profile. So if I wanted to take a look at that person's profile, I could click through, look at their details as well. On your internal profile, you can also see testimonials. So these are all testimonials that people in BNI have given me. You can read those testimonials on somebody's profile within BNI Connect. There's also a photo sharing gallery. You can share up to 20 little photos um, with people. You can see which groups people are participating in. And you can view somebody's training history. These are all VCP visibility, credibility, and profitability building activities. Now, there's sometimes, however, when people don't have their profile filled out. So, for example, let me go to up to my Antarctica region. This is our test region up in BNI Connect. And let's say I'm going to go look for a chapter up here, and I'm going to look for the, let's say, the Burr chapter. It's kind of cold up there. And let me click on a member here, for example. Let's take a, a peek at uh, John Smith. Oh, John Smith actually has a profile filled out. Uh, I don't think Harvey Keitel. So here's an example of a profile that really has no information on it. So Harvey Keitel here, um, you know, I can see his phone number, I can see who he is, I can see what chapter he's in, but there's really no credibility building information on this person's profile. So now if I wanted to do business with Harvey, yeah, it's really not as appealing. And in some cases, people aren't even sharing their phone number, so I wouldn't even have a way to get in touch with them. And it's the same thing on the inside of BNI Connect. People may not be sharing that information. So let's say that you're looking for, I don't know, a plumber. And you click through somebody's profile, and if you start looking through people's profiles, the person that you're most likely to do business with is somebody that you can, A, get in touch with. So here's somebody that if I wanted to call them to do business with them as a plumber, there's no way for me to get in touch with this person. They're not sharing their phone number. So I can try to connect with them and hopefully they'll get back to me. But more than likely, I'm just going to go back and find the next person in the list until I find somebody that I can get in touch with immediately. So how do we get all of this information updated on our profile? And that's what we're going to be talking about today. So the, the place to go to update this information, you can get there one of two ways. You can click on Options from just about any screen and click on My Account. So Options, then My Account. 
The other thing you can do is if you're on this home screen here is click on update profile my BNI page and this will bring us in to the profile update page. You can see that the profile is broken into a bunch of different tabs here along the top. So we have our main profile, we have our user profile tab, we have our contact details tab, our account settings, our bio. If you happen to be a director, you'll see a director tab as well, and your training history. So this first tab is the main profile. This is where you control the, your very general upfront information. Now, some of the fields on this form are not directly editable. For example, the first name and last name and your company name, you may need to request a change for that. For those of you here in the United States, a VAT reference number, um, VAT stands for Value Added Tax. Uh, that's something that some countries by law, it's kind of like their, um, their tax ID number. In some countries, they do have to put that on their profiles in order to um, have that information on their record. The industry and classification, again, that's going to show what was on your application. If it's incorrect, please contact your regional office and they can help you to change that if necessary. It'll also show what chapter you're in and what your membership status is, if you're active or if your membership is late. Now, the next two fields is really where we're going to start spending a little bit of time that you want to put some good information in there. Now, this first one is the My Business Description. Now, the My Business Description is, you know, the way I look at it, think of your open networking at your chapter. When you're, you have that kind of free period when you're around talking to people, and let's say that there's a visitor at your open networking that you've never met before. What would you say to that person to succinctly describe your business? So you don't want to give too, too much information, but you want to give enough information that they understand what you do. And it's the same type of situation. I kind of think of it as more of an elevator pitch. Um, just a couple of sentences, a paragraph to describe your business, keeping in mind that when most people are reading this information on the Internet, they're probably not going to read a whole book about your business. Just a couple of sentences should be enough to get the point across about what you do. Now, the second thing here is the keywords. Now, when somebody does a search for you on either the regional website or the national website, chapter website, or even within BNI Connect, it's going to look across a number of different fields here on your record. It's going to look at the industry and the classification. It's going to look at your address. It's going to look at your, you know, obviously your name. However, obviously the industry and classification, you can only have one thing in there. You may want to be a little bit more descriptive in what you're being found for than just the one thing that you can put in the industry and classification. Think about what people will be searching for. What problems will they be having that you can solve for them? So, for example, in mine, I put things, you know, all computer-related terms that I would like to be found for. Another technique here is that when it does a search for, let's say, you're searching for a particular state, it will search against the state that's in your address field. Now, here in Rhode Island, we happen to have a very, very small state. It's actually the smallest state in the United States. So that means that a lot of us here in Rhode Island, we do business going over the borders a little bit. So a lot of us do business in Massachusetts, and a lot of us do business in Connecticut. So I wanted to be, make sure I was also found if people were searching for help in those states. I put in Massachusetts and Connecticut as keywords in my profile. You can do similar things even if you're in a very big state. So, for example, it's going to search against the city that you have listed on your address. You may want to put other cities in or other areas that you do business in to make sure that you're found in those areas. Now, if you've made any changes on this screen, make sure you click this Update button to save those changes. 
The second tab is your user profile tab. And the user profile tab is really um, more of your account information. So it has your username. You can click the change username or change password button anytime you'd like to. You can pick a different username as long as somebody else isn't using it. You can also choose any password you'd like. Now the memorable question and answer, it is that's what you get prompted with if you ever forget your password. So you want to put something in here that you're going to remember. So for example, if I forgot my password and I went to log into BNI Connect and I couldn't remember my password, I could click on the forgot password at the bottom of the screen here. It would then ask me for my email address. and to type in that code to make sure I'm not a robot here. Oops, I put in the wrong email address. So, no wonder why it couldn't find me. And I click Find Me, and it asks me my secret question. As long as I can answer that secret question, it will allow me to log in and create a new password. You can also choose what language you would like BNI Connect to be displayed in. Please note that there are about 45 different languages, along with a dozen or so different versions of English. Um, this also controls things like the way the dates are displayed. So, for example, in the UK, they display their dates as day, month, year, instead of month, day, year, like we do in the United States. So if you notice that your dates are displaying incorrectly, Make sure that you're not on a different version of English and you switch to the U.S. version. You can also choose your time zone and upload a picture of yourself and a company logo. To upload a picture or a logo, click on the Upload button. Once you get here, click on the magnifying glass. This will allow you to search your computer for a new picture to use. So let's say I wanted to switch to a different logo here. I could grab that logo instead. If I needed to crop it, I could crop it. And then I click Save, and my new logo will dis be displayed. The next tab is all of your contact details. Basically, it's your phone number, your email address, your social media links, and your regular address. Now, a very, very, very important thing on this page is the very first thing at the top here that says, Show Me on the BNI Public Websites. This is your opt-in slash opt-out of the public websites. If you are not being found on the public websites, it's because this box is unchecked. If you would like to be shown on the public websites, make sure that there is a check mark in the box. So, for example, if I uncheck this and save it, I'm going to go back to my regional website here. I'm going to do find a member, and I'm going to search for myself again. I can no longer find myself on the public website. And if I go to my chapter, you'll notice that I am no longer listed. So I'm no longer on the list here. Even though there's 48 members in my chapter, it's only showing 47 because I have opted out. So if you'd like to be seen on the public websites and have that additional visibility, make sure that you have a check in the Show Me on BNI Public Websites box. You can also choose which of your personal pieces of information is then further shared. Obviously, if you're not being shown at all, none of the rest of this matters. But if you are being shown, you can choose which of your phone numbers to display. For example, you can choose to show or hide specific phone numbers, whether or not somebody can email you from the public website, whether to show your business website address, whether or not to show any of your social media links, and whether which of your addresses you would like to show or none of them. And of course, if you make any changes, make sure you hit Update. 
Uh, Diane asks, are we restricted on the size of the logo? When I entered it, it made it so tiny it's hardly visible. Um, the logo is a fairly small file. I don't have the exact dimensions um, on me at the moment. I'm, I can find those for you. Uh, let me see if I can find those. But if I can find those for you, I can let you know. Let's see. Okay, actually, the, the logo is a variable one. The best size for it is 150 by 150. And the picture headshot, the best size for it is 86 by 108. So I can put that in there for you. And I'll put that into the chat screen as well for anybody else that might like that information. All right, I know some sometimes the um, dimensions really if if you have something that's really really wide for example it's, it is going to shrink it to to the maximum width which will make it fairly unreadable at that point uh, let's see James asks the BNI public site and national site what's the difference uh, the difference is that when I go to my regional website this is going to, it's just for my region. So the event calendar, for example, is just all of the different events that are happening in Rhode Island and southeastern Massachusetts. Um, when I do find a member, it's only going to find the members that are here in Rhode Island and Massachusetts. The BNI America site, on the other hand, is going to find everybody in the United States. The event calendar is a national calendar as opposed to a regional calendar. So it'll have things like the, uh, the international conference on it that's happening at headquarters next month. Um, so does that, does that make sense, James? So again, if you're looking for somebody just in your region, um, my suggestion is actually to do a search here on your regional site. That's probably the easiest way. If you're looking for somebody anywhere in the United States, you can look on the regional site. And of course, the inside of BNI Connect, that search up here, that searches the entire world of BNI Connect. This is our members only worldwide database. So does that answer your question, James? Uh, Diane says, for the contact details, the billing address, is it editable or are permissions needed? Okay, so this, this one up here, it's called the billing address quick copy. Um, this is actually here for administrative purposes so that your um, regional admin or your secretary treasurer has something that they can copy and paste into a document. The place to edit it is actually down here at the bottom of the screen. Um, and you can keep a regular address and a billing address. Your regional office will always use your billing address, and the primary address is the one that will display on the websites. So does that, that help? All right, excellent. All right, so the next tab is really it's, it's your permissions and contact preferences. So this tab here, show on website, that sh that's going to control what shows on your profile on the regional, on the public side. The preferences here are your member to member, what shows on the inside of BNI Connect when somebody finds you in the members only portal. And you can choose which of your tabs you wish to display. Your bio tab, your connections, testimonials, picture gallery, whether or not to show or hide your email address, and whether or not to show or hide your contact details. You can choose for each one of those, whether it's just show them to everybody anytime they see your profile, only after they've connected with you, or if you would like to hide some of that information completely. The rest of the screen has to do with email preferences. Um, the group post email notifications, if you are participating in any of the discussion groups, this will uh, determine how often you get an email from any of those groups. I personally, I run a couple of the groups and I like to know as soon as somebody makes a comment, so I choose every time a new post is added. That's a little bit too much for you. You can do once a day or even once a week. 
or you can choose to opt out of the notifications altogether. You can also choose which of your social media interactions in BNI Connect to get forwarded to you. Um, so the BNI messages, there's an internal messaging system if you'd like to be forwarded those messages and ones that you send to your regular email address. Also for your connection requests and recommendation, your testimonials. You can also choose to opt out of certain optional emails from your regional office. Of course, as always, if you made any changes on this tab, be sure to click the Update button. The next tab is the Bio tab, and this is, this is probably the tab where it's going to take you the longest amount of time to go through everything. Now, the first section up here is the Bio, which is years in business, types of jobs, spouse, children, pets, hobbies, and interests, etc. This is actually the same exact bio that we've always used in BNI. Usually we pass it out, the secretary treasurer passes it out before you give your first 10 minute presentation. Now you can keep that information right in BNI Connect if you'd like to. Good place to keep it updated and not have to fill it out on paper every single time. The next two are your commercials. You can type in or copy and paste in two commercials. A great reason for inputting commercials is that they do display on your profile. Now there's right now there's 146,000 active members in BNI Connect. So that's probably 145,990 more than will ever be at one of your chapter meetings. So this is your opportunity to, if somebody comes across your profile, to be able to hear what it is that you're looking for. The gains profile, again, we're always taught to do a gains exchange before we have a one-to-one. -one. Gains, of course, stands for goals, accomplishments, interests, networks, and skills. Now, finally, we have the tops profile, which is ideal referral, top product, top problem solved, favorite BNI story, and ideal referral partner. The tops profile is the one that shows up on the regional website as well as the national website. So if you only have a limited amount of time, I recommend going and filling out the tops profile first and then coming back and filling out the rest because this is the one that is the most visible of all of your bio details. Now, finally, if you are a director, you can keep separate information as a director consultant and your training history. Now, the training history, you can't directly edit. Um, this is more for your review, but if you see something missing from this list, just contact your regional office and they can help you out with that to make sure that it is uh, showing up properly. Of course, make sure you click Update on any of the pages if you make changes, and once it's complete, it should show up on your regional website. So you can go there, do a search for yourself, and check out what other people see. Now Terry says, my info is entered on Connect, but details don't show up on the regional site. What do I need to do to get my info to show up in both places? So Terry, are you saying that you're not found at all when you do your find a member? Or is certain pieces of information not showing up? So which information isn't appearing? Uh, let me see. Why don't I go to bniamerica.com. Do you mind if I do a search for you? And let's see what isn't showing up. So Terry Elton, let's do a search for you here. And there you are. You're in Oregon. Okay, so it looks like it has your phone number. It has your um, profile picture. So your My Business description, so Terry, we're going to make sure that you have, this is the My Business description here, so whatever is entered here will show up here. Down below is going to be the TOPS profile, so make sure that you go in and you, that will be on the Bio tab, and again at the bottom, make sure you fill out your TOPS profile there. Now all of the information here on the left your phone number, mobile number, your address, and all of that, that is going to be controlled on the second tab here. All of these little check boxes down the right-hand side control which of those pieces of information. 
And again, which of your addresses are shown on the regional or on the on all of the websites? Does that help, Terry? Excellent. All right. So what I'd like to do now is to open this up for questions. Um, yeah, I usually have about 30 minutes of content on these live webinars, but I'm always happy to stay on the call until every single question is answered. So whatever questions you have, please do ask them now. The, um, and feel free to ask questions about anything in BNI Connect. I'm happy to answer them. Uh, Steve says, why is the email address not showing? So on your profile, up on the regional website, it will never display your email address publicly because we don't want all the spam bots out there to be you know, stealing your email address. However, there is the option to send you an email on the public website. So you can click on Send Message. This will open up a web page that allows somebody to email you directly. So they need to type in an email address, subject line, and their message to you. They do need to put in a CAPTCHA code so that it's not a robot. And send message. Now this message will go to your live email address. So it will go to your actual email. It doesn't get sent only in BNI Connect as long as you have a valid email on your profile. And here is the message that came through. So I did get the message from the person that sent me a message on the public website. But we won't actually display your phone number, your um, email address. So does that help, Steve? Now on the inside of BNI Connect, by the way, we do share your email address. Um, again, if you'd like to display your email address, that is shown um, on your internal profile. So you can see that that is my email address is showing here. All right, what other questions do you have? Uh, Colin, I see your note to contact you about chapter goals. Um, and um, I did get your email the other day and I will be contacting you as soon as I can. Um, we are right in the middle of a release for BNI Connect so it has been a little hectic um, <laughs> with things going on at the moment. All right. I don't see any other questions. If there's no other questions, I'm going to thank everybody for their time today. Thank you so much for being here. Um, oh, James says, what is my BNI public site and national site for Singapore? So for Singapore, the easiest way to get to your, your public site is to click this regional website button up here in the upper right-hand corner. Um, as far as the site, the national site for Singapore, not all countries have their national sites up and running yet. So let me check to see if yours is or not. Uh, give me one second here. I'm just looking it up on the back end. And I'll check to see if Singapore is available. And it looks like it's uh, bni.com.sg. BNI.com.sg is the Singapore national website. So hope does that help, James? And I'll put that here for you as well. Uh, Pat says, can you go over how to upload your picture and logo again? Absolutely, Pat. So to do that, again, let's say... Uh, uh, on a different screen now, I'm going to go to Options, My Account. I'm going to go to My Account. Then I'm going to go to the second tab, which is the User Profile tab. 
and I would click on, if you have one up there already, change company logo or change profile picture. Click on the magnifying glass. And then choose which logo you would like to upload. Again, if you need to crop it, you can crop the image. Say I only wanted to grab this part of it. Or if you don't want to crop it, just don't click on anything. And now I have my logo up there. And I can check what it looks like. If I click down here at the bottom, I can click Profile. And this now has my updated logo on it. So hopefully that helps. All right. So just a reminder, this is being recorded. To find the recording, please go to support.bniconnect.com or again, click this question mark in the upper right-hand corner. You'll find it listed under Chapter Training and Documentation, Recorded Webinars, as well as on youtube.com forward slash BNI Connect Global. I would also love it if you gave us a like up on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash BNI Connect Global. Uh, we do all sorts of stuff up here. We do webinar announcements, reminders, tips and tricks, and all sorts of things. So I would love a like on that as well, if you could follow us there. All right, everyone. Our, by the way, our very next webinar is going to be this coming Wednesday, October 15th, 10 a.m. Pacific, 1 p.m. Eastern. We're going to be going through all the benefits of using the online slips in BNI Connect. So please join us. And if you found today's webinar useful, a good referral for me, please tell somebody about these webinars. And I would love to see more people sign up for the upcoming online slips webinar next week, Wednesday, October 15th, 10 a.m. Pacific and 1 p.m. Eastern. Thank you so much, everyone. Have a absolutely wonderful weekend. If you're here in the United States, have a nice holiday weekend. And I will talk with you soon. Happy connecting, everyone.